Thank you. Oh, you got fans, man. Way to go. There you go. Thank you. So uh, Samit touched on, uh, we're just going to spend a couple of minutes talking about what you're doing this afternoon. Sure. Uh, the kind of three pillars of the uh, employee first, user experience, sure. platform, and security. So maybe just put that in context for everyone. Sure. So um, a lot of what we're focused on at VMware is really a, a digital transformation, which most CIOs recognize as one of their top priorities over the next couple of years, along with cloud computing and, and investments in security. So um, I would leave you guys with sort of three imperatives that we, we think are necessary for digital transformation. And I'll cover these in more detail in my session. Uh, the first imperative is to uh, put employees first in everything that you do. And um, I'll paraphrase a quote by Richard Branson that I think is really, um, really telling about the importance of this. Um, we spent a lot of time talking about customer first and customer centric organizations. Um, Branson's idea is that if your employees work for a company that they love the brand, they love the company, and they have the tools to do their job effectively, they will pay dividends on how they take care of your customers more than anything else you could possibly do around customer centricity. So putting employees first is important, and providing them the tools to do their job is also quite critical. So I'll talk a lot about end-to-end -end experience for your end users. If you don't nail the user experience, nothing else matters. So that's gonna kind of a key tenant of our Workspace ONE messaging. The second piece, which Submit kind of talked about, is we truly believe that in order to achieve the IT outcomes that you want, you have to treat this stuff as a platform. And what we've delivered in Workspace ONE is a platform that lets you use any device, any operating system to access all the disparate applications you might have in your environment. Um, and the reason why the platform is so critical is go into any enterprise IT customer today. They have one tool for managing Windows PCs, one tool for managing Macs, one tool for managing mobile devices, one tool for their VDI and, and uh, remote app platforms. And the silos of inefficiencies that you have within the IT department of having four to six different tools and four to six different specialist teams means that it costs us a significant amount of money to deliver those capabilities and the end user experience suffers because people have to go to four different places to get the things they need across all their devices and locations. So that's the second imperative is, is focus on the platform. The third imperative is really around security. Um, I think it shouldn't be a shock to anyone out there how important security is to everything that we do. Um, it, it is one of the top spend categories for every CIO, and it has been for the last five years. And um, the reality is in the security space is that the attackers are winning, the, the defenders are struggling. Um, there are a number of things that we can do to improve that overall around things like machine learning and AI. Um, we're spending a lot of time this year focusing on the launch of a new offering called Workspace ONE Intelligence, and I'll cover that a lot more in my session and what it's setting out to do. Um, I think security will continue to evolve and get even more challenging. As we talk about you know, tens of billions of devices coming online in the IoT market, um, it's clear it's gonna, get, it's gonna continue to be challenging. But also, um, you're gonna start to see the emergence of cross-platform malware where a device comes through a smartphone, infects a PC, infects IoT devices, or vice versa. So you really have to think about security in a cohesive manner that cuts across all devices and users. So that's kind of our three main imperatives. So I hope you join me at the workshop to go deeper into these topics. I'm just completely discouraged about the fact that it's going to go cross-platform. So I'm interested to know how you're going to help solve that. So thanks very much, Sean. Thanks for joining us. Thanks Thank for uh, providing that video from Sumit. <laughs>